Hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel Worldwide Immigration News. We hope you all doing great. In today's episode, we are going to see the seven key Australia immigration changes applicable from the 1st of July 2023 onwards. To get all the information, pay attention and watch the video through to the end. Please hit like and subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell for upcoming videos. Without further delay, let's get into the topic. 1. Higher Income Threshold for Skilled Migration The Temporary Skilled Migration Income Threshold, TSMIT, has been increased to $70,000. Initially introduced in 2009, the TSMIT underwent annual indexation until 2013, at which point it was set at $53,900 and remained unchanged thereafter. This amendment represents the government's initial response to the independent review of the migration system and reflects the government's policy objective of ensuring that skilled migrant workers have adequate means to support themselves in Australia. 2. Work Holiday Maker Visa As of 1 July 2023, Papua New Guinea has become the newest participant in the Working Holiday Maker program. This new agreement will enable up to 100 citizens of PNG to journey to Australia, using the Work and Holiday, subclass 462, visa. There's also great news for applicants from the United Kingdom. The age limit for the working holiday, subclass 417, visa has been extended from 30 to 35 years old. This change allows more UK citizens to embark on an adventure down under. 3. Increase in visa fees. As part of the recent changes, visa application charges have also been adjusted in line with the 2023-24 forecast CPI. Most visa categories have experienced a 6% increase above CPI, with exceptions for certain visas. 4. Direct Australian Citizenship for New Zealand Citizens The subclass 189, skilled, independent, visa in the New Zealand stream will no longer accept new primary applications. Starting from 1 July 2023, New Zealand citizens holding a special category, subclass 444, Visa who arrived in Australia after the 26th of February 2001 and have lived in Australia for four years or more will be eligible to apply for Australian citizenship directly. They will no longer be required to apply for and obtain a permanent visa, making the New Zealand stream of the subclass 189 skilled, independent, visa redundant. 5. Work restrictions for student visa holders. From the 1st of July 2023, Work restrictions have been reinstated for student visa holders, limiting their work hours to 48 hours per fortnight. This adjustment aims to strike a balance, enabling students to prioritize their studies while also providing them with valuable work opportunities to contribute to Australia's workforce requirements. However, there is an exception to this rule. Student visa holders who were already employed in the aged care sector as of the 9th of May 2023 and continue to work in that sector are permitted to work without restrictions until 31 December 2023. 6. Extended stay for subclass 485 visa holders. From 1 July 2023, select international students who complete eligible qualifications in areas such as science, medicine, healthcare, engineering, and technology will have their post-study stay extended. The duration of stay will increase from 2 years to 4 years for bachelor degrees three years to five years for master's degrees, four years to six years for all doctoral degrees. Existing regional settings will be maintained, and additional two years may be granted where applicable. Also, starting 1 July 2023, applicants who meet the requirements for their initial temporary graduate visa will receive an extra two years beyond the standard visa duration. Moreover, Eligible applicants who apply for a temporary graduate visa in the replacement or post-study work streams, and have studied and resided in regional Australia, will also receive an additional two years, if they haven't already received it on a previous temporary graduate visa. 7. Occupation Skills Assessment, Graduate Work Stream For graduate work stream visa applications lodged from 1 July 2023, applicants must hold a qualification relevant to an occupation on the MLTSSL list and undergo a skills assessment in the nominated occupation. This requirement was temporarily removed between 1 July 2022 and 30 June 2023. That's all for today. Thanks for watching the entire video. Hopefully the information is useful to you. See you later in the next episodes. Till then take care.